Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Cisco LinkedIn Live. See more, solve more, the journey to full stack observability. My name is Saba Kadir, and I am your host. I'm thrilled to be joined today by Liz Santoni, EVP and Chief Strategy Officer and General Manager for Applications at Cisco, and Rachel Barger, our new SVP of America's Sales at Cisco. Thank you both so much for being here. So we know that applications are now the business. They are the way that companies reach and interact with their employees and their customers alike. With so much depending on applications, how do companies ensure the best experience possible for all? That's what we'll be diving into during today's broadcast, which brings me to my first question. Full stack observability. What does that actually mean? And Liz, let's kick it off with you. I always want to start with welcome to the planet of the apps. Because if you think about, you know, what IDC says, there's going to be 500 million new applications that will be written in the next three years. When I first thought about that, I just thought, that's just impossible. And then I started looking up applications and boy, there's an app for everything out there. Maybe some of the ones you don't even want to talk about. Um, but with the stats that I see is there's a 30% uh, or there was a 30% increase in usage of apps during the pandemic and they've been coming out of it and people are not changing their behaviors in that. I think on an average, the stats show that we're spending about five hours a day on mobile apps, You know, not even including web apps for that matter. And if you think about your experience with an application, right? You open it up, you just, you launch it, you just expect it to work. You don't want to have to, you want it to be simple. You want it to navigate. You want to navigate through it really well and, and super simple. And you want it to be secure. You're not even thinking about any of this because you know that, uh, or your expectation is, your data is secure, your devices are secure, the application is secure, and your experience has to just be awesome. So when you think about business leaders, they're expecting their IT teams to support the full technology stack that is responsible or that drives kind of the experience that me or you as a user is going to need in that simplicity, that great experience, that secure experience. They want to prioritize the issues that impact the business because every day as you run your operations, there's going to be a bazillion things that potentially could go wrong. So the question is, which ones do I prioritize the most that have the biggest impact of my, my business? And they want to be able to act with confidence on what drives their business KPIs and their objectives at the end of the day. So you'll see more and more where customers want to solve for this. This is why our customers are asking for full stack observability, because an application is dependent on so many things. And so our customers need this insight into everything that potentially impacts the application. And which means that once you have the insight, you once you have the visibility, sorry, you can get insights into it. Since you need to be able to see everything that impacts that application. Once you have that, then you can take actions and Really what you want to do is remediate issues as soon as they arise or even more be able to predict it because what you want to be able to have is your application that's always on 24 seven delivers the best experience for the user and it's secure. And to be able to do that, customers need full stack observability. And you know what? One of the things that I think about too is when we talk to our customers, sometimes they will say, well, what do you mean with full stack observability? And, you know, um, before joining Cisco, my entire career was in business application uh, companies. And I think about when I would help a customer with an ERP or a new e-commerce site or a new payroll site, you know, you think about just that one application in that one framework. But actually, it's a hugely distributed ecosystem. There's master data coming from SaaS applications into hosted on-premise. There is information coming from hosted on-premise applications into SaaS. People are ac accessing the application from the, the campus network. People are at Starbucks. People are doing curbside pickup. People are on their mobile phone using a responsive device. So I think when we think about all of these different parts and pieces, it's really easy to say, oh, no, no, you know, I'm using ERPX and that ERP has its own monitoring system. Well, I'll tell you what, that's just not good enough because 
yes, it's looking in that one lens, but just like Liz was talking about earlier, there are all these other things that are feeding data, receiving data, you know, ways that the application is being experienced that that one monitoring tool cannot solve. And for me, that's the really exciting thing that, and opportunity that we have at Cisco. We can provide a single dashboard to hit all of those aspects and also security, right? I mean, think about that aspect too. So when you put that entire stack together, instead of being super siloed, like Liz was saying before, we can give you that total full stack across everything visibility to allow you to understand, okay, there's so many issues. What's the one issue that's actually creating this downstream impact that you would have never realized is occurring? And that's right, Rachel. And I'm glad you brought that up because this is the power of AND that we're bringing at Cisco, right? We take application performance monitoring, I'd say one of the best tools in app dynamics. It gives a business context on focusing on what really impacts the business at the end of the day. Integrate that with Thousand Eyes, for example, that gives you deep visibility to the network and internet because so many, regardless of most applications use some SaaS service that's out right. there uh, as well. And then, you know, we integrate with Intersight, which gives us optimization optimization of the application, optimization of the infrastructure. And then you have secure application that actually protects your application both in runtime and in development as well. It's really the power of AND that needs to come together, but like you said, integrated with a single UI to be able to, to again, give our customers focused view on what matters most to their business. So now we have an understanding of what full stack observability is. So let's talk a bit more about why it matters. Tell me more about the benefits of full stack observability and why it should matter to those tuning in and to their businesses. And Rachel, let's start with you on this one. Sure, so I think just going back to what we were talking about the last time, imagine an e-commerce application and imagine that for whatever reason, all of a sudden that you're starting to see um, cart abandonment. And there is nothing worse in an e-commerce application than cart abandonment, right? So, okay, well, the first thing that you think of is there must be an issue in the actual shopping process. Well, how do I figure that out? Well, imagine if it's not. Imagine if there's a third-party API that you're using to capture people's uh, customer loyalty information and somehow a connection between that third party application actually broke. Imagine that that's a SaaS application and you're using a, a hosted on-premise application. Imagine how complex that seems just thinking about it right there. That's a real business outcome. If card abandonment starts happening, your revenue starts going down immediately. How do you resolve it? How do you get that mean time to innocence to understand who is not at fault and who is at fault? The only way that you can do that is with a, a capability like full stack observability that can look across the entire landscape, the entire ecosystem, because that's what we have right now. We, you know, we can say that we have applications, but we actually have ecosystems. Look across the ecosystem, understand their problems every day. What problems are the most impactful to business? Card abandonment rate, for example orders not processing on your ERP, anything like that. And how do you identify the whole stream of activities that come together to create that end user result? And then how do you resolve it as quickly as you can? That's that's sort of how what I think about. And you know, customers and employees have extreme expectations. We are all used to one click buying. The moment that something slows down, the moment that something you know cannot complete as you expect to, what are you going to do? You're going to go somewhere else, right? That's either stopping business activities that have to happen or it's stopping revenue from coming in your door. And that's why this is so critical in today's complex environments. I loved, Rachel, that you use the mean time to innocence because just even think about traditional applications, right? Most of this is where it's a monolith, it's tightly integrated. IT probably has visibility and control over all of it, but you still have multiple people developing it, multiple different personas. And there's this pointing of fingers where, you know, you're, you, it, because you have such limited visibility beyond your own domain. Now think about cloud native applications, more modern application where the guts of the application is distributed and the internet is now your runtime. And to see, think about the complexity when you think about mean time to innocence. So having a common set of correlated data across all gives you that visibility. So everybody's speaking the same lingo and it's more around, 
you know, the meantime to innocence truly comes about because you're focused on solving the problem that really matters. Like you said, you know, think about how many times have you sat, you know, you, you've spent some time, you're looking through it, you buy stuff, you put it in the cart and you go to hit order and the thing just goes round and round. And, what, you know, what I would say is I have limited patience. In about three seconds, I'm moving on to something else. Right. So if this is happening to so many customers across the board, your revenue is starting to drop. And those are the things where full stack observability goes down to where you can quantify the benefits in terms of where it's revenue preservation, revenue increase, it's cost reduction for that matter. It's, it's net promoter scores or it's like your customer satisfaction, which is so important because if your customers love your application, they're going to recommend it to somebody else. If they don't, you'll see a whole bunch of tweets out there as well, because end customers are, especially in the world that we live in right now, they're not afraid to actually mention their dissatisfaction before they mention their satisfaction. So this is where it ties down to very solid KPIs for a business. It does. And one other thing I'd add is, you know, I, we live in a world of extreme expectations. Everyone has extreme expectations for what their experience should be, just like you said. That's not just our customers, it's also our employees too. And I think that's the other thing that we really need to think of as organizations is, you know, we always put so much focus on our external applications. We need to put just as much focus on our internal applications, be delightful for places for people to work so that they can feel efficacy for the work that they're doing and, and not feel like they're beating their head against the wall on, on internal business systems that aren't working. So I think both of those, we need to understand the importance with attrition rates too. I, I love that you brought that up, Rachel. So remiss of not having mentioned it earlier because in in hybrid work, you know, my from home, I should have the same great experience accessing any SaaS app or any app for that matter than I would sitting on a campus. Right. So it goes back to the employee experience and talent retention as well. So when we talk about application experience, it's the entire gamut, like you said, it's internal application and the employee experience and the end customer experience or what, you know, we're driving more revenue generating or other uh, applications. I'm so glad you brought that up. So both of you are leading this charge at Cisco in particular. So I want to know more. How is Cisco helping our customers achieve real outcomes with full stack observability? And Liz, let's start with you. I would say it goes back to what we talked about is really looking at delivering outcomes from our, for our customer, right? And we look at those uh, delivering those outcomes across three areas, performance, optimization, and security. So how do we help our customers in having the most high performance application, whether that is a traditional, whether it's a hybrid application, whether it's built in a modern way, deployed you know, across a hybrid environment or de deployed in their you know, on-premise private data centers for that matter. How do we help optimize on the, uh, both the application performance as well as the underlying infrastructure? Uh, because we all know that we probably over-provision whether that application or workload is sitting on parts, whether it's in the cloud for that matter, and then securing the application. So for us, it's really around how do we deliver this visibility insights and the ability to take action that enables us to deliver the outcomes around performance optimization and security. That is our primary uh, goal so that for our customers, they can look at this and go, go, I have a means to be able to deliver an application or a set of applications that's always available 24 seven. It's the best experience and it's secure. And you know, Liz, one of the other things I think about is, you know, coming to Cisco, we have a really unique point of view and perspective and capability, I think that is, that is differentiated across anywhere one else in this space. You know, you can have the best application in the world, but the, you know, if you don't have the right data center or, or cloud hosting behind it to make it to, to drive its performance, if you don't have the right visibility into the network, be it campus or, or be it the internet, and if you don't have the right trust behind the application from a security perspective, you don't have an application. And I think the really cool thing for all of us is that 
These are three areas that are right in Cisco's sweet spot. And it's, it's not like one application out there says, hey, I can do this, I have that. Or it's not like one cloud can go out and say, I've got this, I have it across everything. Because that's just one, their one sliver, that's their one lane. And they do that lane incredibly well. But now in these complex, you know, multifaceted IT environments, we have to go across all lanes. And that's why you need partners that, that can really be agnostic across all those areas and also have the experience in those areas too. And I think that's why I look at a, a major utility company that we're working with. We're actually helping them to make sure their storm response um, when there are storms that strike is second to none and as quick as possible. Because that's actually the difference sometimes between life and death and definitely between someone being able to turn on their lights, have their refrigerator on and, and things like that in their home environment. You know, the ability to quickly ensure that that system can turn on on the on the blink of an eye and make sure that we're directing the right resources to the right utility issues based on storms is incredibly critical. And, and that's where we're helping or helping a manufacturer, for example, that was 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 spending hours and hours trying to troubleshoot issues in uh, their quote to cash process and in their manufacturing environment. But we were able with our unique expertise, again, across all those facets to be able to help them and take issues that were taking hours, five to 10 minutes now. And it's been a true game changer for them, not only internally to their IT department, but to the experience that their end business uh, business customers were having in experiencing that application. So I think you know anybody who's out there, I really encourage you, think about all of the distributed applications you have out there. It doesn't matter what the application does. I just gave a couple of quick examples. If it's distributed across a complex environment, we are definitely the people to reach out to because I know that we can help. Thank you both so much for sharing your expertise and those real world examples. The impact of this solution is just incredible to hear about. Honestly, I absolutely love hearing it and can't wait to see where it goes from here. Ultimately, my main takeaway has been that you really can't fix what you can't see. But the more that you can see, the more that you can solve. Cisco's full stack observability solution delivers visibility, insights, and action when you need it most to drive the best end user experience with agility and scale. To learn more about Cisco's full stack observability, visit cisco.com and make sure you are following Liz and Rachel here on LinkedIn for all of the latest and greatest. Now, I can't sign off of this broadcast without addressing the very important date on which it falls. May the 4th be with you. Happy Star Wars Day, Liz and Rachel. Hey, Rachel, you're my favorite Jedi, actually. And I, I, I say that with huge respect. <laughs> so happy May the 4th and may the force be with all of us. Liz, you are truly my Obi-Wan Kenobi of FSO. And so I say that was the greatest respect. And I would ask you to help me <laughs> to be a better Jedi across FSO with my lightsaber. <laughs> well, we'll practice some more, Rachel. We're, we've got to do more of that. <laughs> Absolutely. Happy May the 4th, everyone. <laughs> I can't say who won that lightsaber battle. I'll let you all tell us in the comments below. I'll say it was a tie in the name of being a gracious host. But to everyone joining in, may the Force be with you. And remember, the Force will be with you always. We'll see you on our next Cisco LinkedIn Live. Take care, everyone.